everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pyre here and in today's video we're going to be unboxing and assembling a little workbench I picked up at Harbor Freight. This is the U.S. General folding clamping workbench with movable pegs. There you see a picture of it fully assembled. It is rated at 260 pounds weight capacity. Again, I picked this up at Harbor Freight with a 20% off coupon. And I also got a free flashlight, but with the 20% off coupon, this was less than $20. I think it was around $18 and change. A friend of mine has one of these types of workbenches, and I was really surprised by the versatility of it with all the uses that it has with the clamping part in the middle of the table. I'm really excited to have one of these out in the workshop. So right now, let's get it unboxed and put together. And we're going to begin by unboxing all the pieces and they were just slid in the boxes. Nothing was really wrapped up nice and tight but that was okay. The actual workbench top was wrapped up and I did have to go back and dig out the instruction manual which was crammed in the bottom of the box. And then we can proceed to assembly. And the clamps are going on first that actually operate the clamping motion of the workbench and it took 16 wood screws to do this that were included and all the holes were pre-drilled into the workbench got those all in nice and secure with a Phillips head screwdriver and then it was time to put the legs on and these are just nuts and bolts and the nut is a lock nut so it secures itself kind of tedious threading it through I think there was some paint still stuck in the holes where the legs were and it came with a little wrench and the wrench was just useless so I went ahead and grabbed a pair of pliers and tightened the legs down And it is four long bolts and washers and lock nuts that hold all this together. Tightening everything down nice and secure. Now these little rubber feet will go on the very bottoms. I apologize that you can't see that in the camera angle. But you'll see it when I flip the bench over here to put the leg bracers on. And the two leg bracers, one will go on each side and it's four bolts that hold each of those in. And four nuts and washers. Again, it was just hard threading everything through with the hollow metal construction but I got them through and got everything tightened down and assembled the only thing I do not like about this workbench so far is the clamps or the handles that turn the clamps on the top of the workbench is thin plastic and I could see those maybe breaking off in the future and me having to epoxy or fix them in the future hopefully that's not the case only time will tell getting the other leg brace on and tightening everything down nice and secure and then I will put the four pegs that are movable on the top of the workbench put them in place and the workbench is fully assembled and here we have the completed clamping workbench I think it turned out real good it did take me around 30 minutes to put it together threading some of the bolts through the hollow steel was a little tedious and the little wrench that came with this is basically 
useless. I mean, it's stamped metal look. I can bend it just like that. So I went ahead and got a pair of pliers. You also need a Phillips head screwdriver, which was not included. But all in all, for 20 bucks, or around 20 bucks, I think this is going to be a great workbench. I really love the clamping feature. And it's got a protractor here built on the table and also a measurement up to 24 inches, which is two foot. That's going to be really awesome for quick measuring if I've got this outside and I just need to measure something small quickly. It is a great tool. The legs here double as tool rests. They have holes to put screwdrivers or wrenches down in when you're working. That's also really good. My intentions for this is to maybe put my bench top lathe on this and then be able to take it outside and work out in nicer weather. Maybe even put one of my scroll saws on it and then again go out and work in nicer weather. But I really think it's good. It's great sturdy construction. It is very lightweight and when it pops open it is about up to my waist. I'm going to say it stands about maybe 30 inches tall or somewhere along in that and then again it folds flat for storage. I'm really excited to have this out in the workshop and really looking forward to doing some projects with it. I hope you guys like this video. If you're interested, the model number for that is Harbor Freight part number 47844. And I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've learned something. Also, subscribe to my channel. And remember, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.